Welcome back in legends. We've got some questions to answer here. I'm gonna just go through my YouTube channel here in the comments. There's a lot of them. This is all just in the last you know, 24 hours here. So we'll get through a bunch of those guys. Scroll back up to, you know, obviously the most recent and relevant. And these here from, from about here on is, is after team list. So that's gonna be cool. And then a lovely slideshow from Max here. And, and you could read his team name just to get a bit of a laugh out of that one. I won't say it in case YouTube demonetizes me. But anyway, let's get into some of the questions before and then get into Max's squad here. So would you sell Cam Murray to get Sean Johnson? I then need to get a mid for 600K or less to replace Murray. I, I wouldn't, not exactly, Mitch. Um, don't ruin one position to fix another, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, hopefully you see this one, Mitch. Which one, Gus, Katoa or Aiken? I think Gus. He did just come out and, and speak about uh, that, you know, if he was to go play rugby, that now would be the time, given he's getting a little bit older. So uh, hopefully that's at the end of the season and uh, he doesn't get benched because of it, um, for, for those words anyway. But I think that they need to play him. He was great on the weekend and that's where I'm, you know, thinking with that one. Should I sell Penasini? Could go down to Eero to free up cash for maybe Heinz Cleary next week. Yeah, lock it in. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, and mate, with Heinz having a 70 break even, that's because he's priced near the 70 mark. So he's going to be up near that break even unless he gets 110 or he goes for like a 45, 50 like he did a few weeks ago. Is Josh Kerr or Crichton a better option? Crichton at this stage, uh, you know, Josh Kerr's made a fair bit of money already. Would you go cheaper and do Chan for Crichton and maybe Burbo for Eero or Lusick and Totola for Hines and Eero? Ooh, I think Lusick's a hold for now. Good hooker cover. Totola's doing, you know, scored pretty well on the weekend as well. Maybe it's just a one trade this week, mate, to go Chan for Crichton. But, you know, I suppose, yeah. They both don't sound amazing. Obviously, getting Hines is great. So that could work. But if you have enough hooker cover, then that's cool. Both of them aren't amazing if we're going for a double trade, but solid. I'm going to say that in that one. All right. Is Terrell May a sell? Hold. Hold for him, guys. Just, yeah, that's all we're going to say. What do you think of going Teddy and Joe Chan to Angus and Ponga? Yeah, amazing. I lock that in. Ponga's an incredible buy this week. Uh, I didn't even think I, did I even speak about him? I didn't even put him in the buy, hold, risk, or sell. He's just a clear buy. It is, um, it is, uh, yeah, exactly what you need to do. Sell, I think, for Teddy, Kristen. Just like fantasy coaches, looks like NRL coaches are getting frustrated with their teens by judging by the moves from Eels and the Rabbitohs. Yeah, 100%. Jamie, what are your thoughts on trading in Smithies? <laughs> Hilarious. Um, yeah, I didn't want to talk about him in the buy, hold, sell because it was annoying me. I'll say solid, especially with the Horsebro news being out. He's a solid one. Trading Crichton, Euro or Chevy for second trade. I think Crichton this week personally, you know, considering we, we all likely have a lot of centers in our team. So I definitely think that's a, a solid pickup. Up to you on that one. You can go Crichton or Euro in my opinion. So I'll go say Crichton or, or Euro. Work well. That's good stuff. All right, uh, what to do now? Go all in to get Hines or get cheaper and get Crichton like, and someone like Jaden Campbell. Both can work, that's for sure, on that one. So see what's best for you. If you're really rushed on getting Hines, cool. If not, you can get, um, yeah, you can go for, for Cleary next week as well. So that's the, the general theory. Tupiki plus Dom Young to Iro plus Angus Crichton. Sweet, that'll leave you with a lot of cash for next week, I imagine. Chevy Stewart or Gray. Uh Stewart, 50-50, oh, 50-50. I don't really, I think Jai, Jai Gray is a better player. This week, Drew Hutchison or Kyle Flanagan, plus Taylor May to Angus Crichton and Ewan Aiken. All right, probably, probably Hutcho, I think at this stage. He's going to buy in a few weeks. He's probably got a bunch of dogs. So I think that helps. He's a bit more, ex about a similar price actually. Next week, Cam Murray plus Adam Elliott to Cleary or Nico plus Tohu Harris. That sounds pretty cool. I like them as options for sure. Um, yeah, definitely good. Lock that in. Spoke about that. Thoughts on Gutho and Mariner. Don't sell Gutho now. I don't think to Chevy and Hughes with 253 in the bank. Chevy will cover wraps till he gives reasons to be dropped. I don't think so. Not ideal. Not ideal selling Gutho. And then you've got Murray can't decide between trading Rappner and Mulhaisen to Crichton and Chevy and having a 
Rapana and having 105 in the bank or trading Rapana and Taylor May to Sean Johnson and Chevy? Probably the first one, I think, Mazza, on that one. Again, I hope this guy, the reason I do these questions, guys, that hopefully you're in a similar boat and it can help you guys in your squad. Hey, Jamie, thoughts on Panasini and Raps to Angus and Ponga? Angus and Hines. Um, either Angus and Ponga or Angus and Hines. So one or three. Both work. All right, Terrell May for Gray. Schneider, if you got Schneider, Schneider the you know, half for, if he, I think your whole, uh, he's going to be gone, isn't he? Actually, scratch that. Yeah, Schneider can go. I wouldn't trade Terrell though. I know you're trying to get Hines, but I wouldn't trade Terrell. Don't do it. Don't do it. As an Eels fan, BA's off his head. I get Assy in for six, but Blaze should be in the center at least before Harper. Yeah, potentially, yeah. All right, let's get into this um, get into this lovely team that Max has sent us through. So lots of questions this week, mate. Who's the better play, Cleary next week or Hines this week? Just depends who you want. Like if you really, if you prefer Cleary, wait a week. If you don't, then get Hines. Only worries Hines runs a clinic on South this week and posts 100, sure. But then the Panthers have a terrific four-round blitz as well. So that's the um, yeah, that's the other thought on that one. Thinking having McInnes and him playing close to 70-ish minutes this week could allow me to hold off on Hines. Yeah, I'd captain McInnes in this you know, option. He's also a potential buy this week, but we just don't know the minutes that Fitz is going to give him, frustratingly, to be honest. So I think McInnes' captain this week is good. I've done one trade so far in those wraps to Angus. Downside of this is I'll have to play Burbo and hold Karaz. I think that's fine. Gives you a chance to look at guys like Stewart, Chester anyway. Holding Murray, hoping he plays closer to 80 minutes this week. Yeah, that's cool. If no Hines, who would be Captain Foggs or McInnes? I think McInnes. I think that's a good play. Absolutely crushed it two weeks ago. Had a rest there. Good chance he gets good minutes. Um, yeah, still got a few guys out. So I think he's the he's the good purchase this week. Let's look at your, your team while we're here. So Grant Cotter, Murray McInnes looking really good up there. Terrell May on the bench. Good stuff. And Sam Hughes as well. Salmons, you cover on the edge. That's awesome. Halves, you're good when Galvin comes back. You've got Finnefiriaki as well. Center position, a little bit light on, obviously, at the moment with Talangi being out. So, you know, maybe center. You've got um, yeah, Karaz in there as well. Potentially a, you know, a wing fullback in the next week or two could be the correct play. Um, you know, so maybe... Maybe that's the the secondary trade if you want to to get you know another, as you said, Stewart. You know you wait for him. And maybe you know Blaze Talungi. You can go to one of those guys. You can go right up now as well with this secondary trade. How you how you get up there or who you select? Like you can go. Obviously, Hacho won't work this week for you. But if you went three thirty five, just don't have enough for Ponga from Pierre That could be fun. Um, I was going to say if you had enough cover at, at halfback, you could go Hacho to to Ponga this week, and that'll be pretty cool. But that's not the case, unfortunately, given your, your shorter shorter center and short an, an edge man, uh, a half man, so. And a wing fullback, so. Yeah, interesting one. Lots of edges and lots of mids. I'd just be focusing on making sure the other, yeah, fix up half with Hines or Cleary next week, as you said, and then look at your centers and wing fullbacks as well. Outside of that, you're in a pretty good position, Max, there. Ranked 3,644 with the 335 in the bank. Thank you very much for, for sending that one in. All righty. Let's keep going up. Uh, Rapapa, Rapapa did his meniscus. Yeah, not good. I'm more confused. <laughs> yep. Who's a better buy, Chevy, Eero, or Gray? We spoke about that one. I think Eero first, Chevy second, Gray third, likely. Chevy or Gray 50-50. Yeah, Pico around eight. That sucks. It's Lance. Hey, mate, great video as always. Do you reckon you could freeze the team column? Oh, yeah, I need to sort that out. Nothing big will watch regardless. Yeah, I need to learn how to do that. So I keep a few people have asked me that now. I'll, I'll try my best to, to freeze that column so it doesn't, it's easier for me as well as you guys as well. I'll, um, we know what we're like with uh, technology. We're not great. We're not, we're not the worst. We're not great. We're in between. Hey, mate, I can trade Chan to Gus Crichton. We'll only have 43 in the bank. This means bringing back Cleary has to be two trades. Yeah, I think that's sweet. To, to bring in any of the top guns is usually at least two trades. Another option is Chan to and Cheapy to Iro, Stuart, etc. Et Loving the content, Jamie. Thank you. Um, I think lock in the first trade and then go from there and then work it out next week. Who's going to be the play on that one? Very simply, Paul Burton can burn in hell. <laughs> Started with him. How can he get 30 points in a 32 to 0 win? 15 in first game, trade him out, and he averages 100 cents since. Um, I'm assuming he's talking about NSC. Yeah, NSC, that's tough. 
so tough. That's for sure. All right. I think we're in the we're in the supercoach category on those ones. Yeah, we're in the supercoach category for these ones. It's helpful to know. Eli Katoa on Manu this week. Probably Katoa just, I think. Katoa just. I do have Manu as a good buy, but he's back to center next week. Um, oh, it's alive. Let's be friends and play together. Very cute. Lucky I have Cleese because I wanted to Haas duo. Nice. Uh, Murray to Chevy, Schneider to Hines, or Terrell for Stewart, Schneider to Hines. I think first one better. I'm still looking at the Murray one. I don't know what I'm going to do with that situation. I've, I've got four guys I want to get. Crichton, Murray, Ponga, or Turbo, more Ponga, and then Iro. So they're my four, and I've only got two trades. So that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Blaze to Iro and Burbo to Chevy. Probably just one trade. Probably just trade one. Just first trade, in my opinion. I think with that one, that seems like a bit of a waste to trade with Chevy. I don't think he's going to go nuts. He can grab him next week. I think it's time to move on, Karaz, on any thoughts. Yeah, you'll check out the video. Check out the vid, mate. All right. Thanks for you guys sending all these comments in. I, I can't get to all of them, but this video, you know, helps me out. They can jump in and just smash it out. That's for sure. It gives me a bit of a deadline to do it. Otherwise, it's hard to get back to with the time that we have. I'm looking at training Karaz and Burbo for Angus and Manu, plus 349 in the bank. What do you reckon? I really want to bring in Hines, but with the cash in bank, I can bring him or Cleary in next week. Yeah, sweet, or just grab him this week. Sweet, or grab this week. That's it. Hold or sell Karaz. Yeah, I think that was answered in buy, hold, and sell. Was answered. Also, guys, I, uh, I did mention these guys, so I'll try and get the timestamps out if I have enough time, but... um. Just check as well with that one. Elliot Tapong is good. Yeah, just, yeah, make sure. I've usually, if I've mentioned a player, I've mentioned if they're a holder or a sell. That's the point of the video. Karaz for Crichton. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll leave it at that. Thinking Hines and Euro this week for Murray and Hacho. Crichton will have, might have lower minutes. So I feel like I can wait a week there. For sure. I think either, yeah, either way. Wait, it's good. With that one, does Zappi play State of Origin or is Reese the first choice? I think maybe both. Cook getting dropped really through a spanner in the works. Um, pick Grant for now, I think. Pick Grant for now or Reed or Robson. Probably the play. Uh, we got a lot of weeks left until you have to sell Grant. I think he's the guy. Should I do May to Crichton? And Fogarty to Hines. No, hold Fogarty. Or made a Crichton and Talangi to Eero. Uh, neither. Neither, to be honest. Is Talangi and Piyakura to Eero or either Olakwa to Hopgood or Fafita? A good trade. Talangi and Piyakura. Eero. So you get enough cash in the bank. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think so. That's a good upgrade for sure. Would you suggest going for another cheapy in the center or going for a mid range slash gun? If you are behind on points, this is going to be cool. On points, go for points. Otherwise, cash gen, I think, is probably the better play this week. Um, just with that situation, that's what I'm looking at. Do I go for the points this week and try and catch up a bit or do we you know, go from there? And uh, just get the cash in there. Sula de Kotrick, no. And Gagai to Offengawe. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible trades. Kotrick not playing. Nice. Uh, should I trade Teddy to Manu thinking for buy rounds or Teddy missing jury to Origin? Yeah. That's cool. Was everyone concerned about Euro becoming a Talangi 2.0? Definitely, as always. Murray to Carrigan or Butcher. Hold. Hold this week unless you're going to Nico Hines. <clears throat> Cheers for the V, brother. Love the insights. Thank you very much. Looking to go Rapana and Chan to Eero and Campbell Bloor. Crichton will get 17. I went Smithies to KPP. It was a tough watch. Um, yeah, thanks, Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> That's what we all, we're all thinking that now. Hard to do. <clears throat> um, yeah. Pick, take your pick. They're all good. All are good. All are good there. All right, let's go. Thoughts, Jamie, on Satili to Jerome, Piakura to Iro. Yeah, could Wilson start on edge this week? Maybe. Maybe. That could be cool. See how long. I think Ricky's just a one-week thing. Blaze to Iro, then I do. Then do I go Salmon to Angus, Burbo to Angus, or Brandon Smith to Angus? Hold Brandon Smith to give me cash from Nico. Um, I think just hold. Just do one trade. 
just do one trade. Don't need to do two there. Hold Salmon. He'll get good minutes. We'll forgive you this time for Talangi. Thank you. Made to Crichton and Taft to Campbell. Um, Taft to Campbell. Do I trade Karaz instead of Taylor because Karaz got that buy? Yeah, Karaz first, I think. If you can stomach it this week and you don't have any issues, that's cool. Karaz is a hard one to keep or sell. Agreed. I traded Taylor May and Chan for Schiller and Campbell. Don't Not keen on Schiller, in my opinion. Maybe in Supercoach, but not here. Karaz won an only score against the Storm, 90 points. That's what we're hoping, right? <laughs> uh, I've gone Teddy to Chevy and Blaze to SJ. Cool. Good stuff. Looks good. All right. Thank you, Legends. That was a quick one. <clears throat> 15, 20 minutes or whatever it is. And appreciate you guys being here. I'll have the quick buy, hold, risk it, sell out shortly as well. But um, yeah, you're all Legends. Thank you for coming to this. We'll get Scoop's thoughts out tonight, uh, tomorrow morning. We'll do it tonight. And uh, yeah, have some fun, guys. Good luck with your teams. And uh, I'm no closer to selecting my squad this week. See ya.